Hey everyone, what I'm going to show you is how to automate the process of creating uh, APA format out of your reference material for your Works Cited page. And it's pretty simple. There, what, what you're going to do is, uh, I'm going to show you how to use this tool called citationmachine.net and it automates the creation of the APA format style for various reference material that you're going to use in your papers. So if you go to Right in the web browser there is citationmachine.net and you can see uh, it came up for me already. You'll have to type that out manually. And here it is. What it does is you select the medium that you're using. You tell them if it's a book, as you see over here on the left, uh, if it's from an encyclopedia, if it's non-print, if, if it's a web page, some kind of web-based media, a music recording, a produced video or film. So you just select the thing that you're going to reference, the item that you're going to reference, and you're going to put the information. It's going to create the format for you. So let's take a look at this. So I want to reference a web page. Let's say I have a web page that I'm going to be referencing here. So I'm going to go, imagine I'm doing research on my paper, uh, and it's about um, the founders of businesses and their attitude and what kind of people, uh, what kind of uh, attitude do business entrepreneurs have? So, you know, go back to Google and let's say I'm searching what we look for in founders of companies. So let's say I see here the essay, what we look for in founders by Paul Graham website here. So I'm going to go ahead and click it, and look, here is an essay about what Paul Graham looks for in founders, and what I would do is just kind of, I know who this person is, but you want to make sure you know where the, you know, the background of this website, so I'll go to the bio here, and I see uh, who Paul Graham is, he's a programmer, it tells me here, uh, he was acquired by Yahoo!, and he is a founder of Y Combinator. So I get an idea of his background. So I'll go back. So let's say I want to reference, I want to reference this web page. I, I want to read this and I want to express some of the ideas that are in here in, in into the research paper. So I have to, I can't just, you know, plagiarize. I can't take the information there. I have to use whatever, you know, express the ideas that I want to express from here, but I have to reference this so people can go back to it and know where I got my information. Because you can't have a research paper where people can't look up your research, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go back to where we were at the citationmachine.net. And it says here, okay, put the last name and uh, the, the initials. So what we're going to do is we have his name is Graham. And... It's Paul. And then the date published, we see here it's October 2010. So I'll go back. And we need to put the year, right? It says, if you look at the bottom here, it kind of gives you the details of exactly how you're supposed to do it. And it says month spelled out. So we said it's October. Uh, the day, we don't have the, the day, so that's fine. The title of the web document capitalized only the first word you see here. So let's go back. And it says the title right here, what we look for in founders. So that's what we want to use. So we'll go back and say what we look for in, found, in founders. And then it wants the web URL. It wants the exact address so people can go um, access that page. So if you look here at the top of the web browser, you see the, the URL. So you highlight it. You can right click. And you got a copy there, and then you go back and you right click over here and you go ahead and paste it. So you have the information there, and we're going to go ahead and submit this. And we have now the citation to use at the end of the research paper. This is what you want if you if you reference any material from here, you want to put this at the end of the paper. And then while you're writing, if you're referencing this essay, this is what you want to use at the end of your sentences where you're referencing the, the content from, from that web page. Okay? Very simple. It gives you information here. And you do that for all of these other um, reference materials. In this case, we use the web page. All right? 
Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot them over. Talk to you guys soon.